all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video we will be talking about k inverse pairs array index number is 629 and the problem is categorized as hard type problem of the lead code right so before moving further i just recommend you guys to have the prerequisite knowledge of dynamic programming because we will be using a uh, concept of dynamic programming and building up the base cases and the dynamic programming state and these are uh, these all steps are going to be like very much useful for this problem right so you must have a basic knowledge of dynamic programming and also you must have the knowledge of inverse pair right i'm also going to discuss the each and everything in this video for now you must uh, be like uh, aware about the concepts of dynamic programming to solve this problem in the best possible way right so for moving further to this problem i just want to recommend that uh, you must look over the constraints if you are watching my video regularly you must be aware about the uh, about the fact that i am always discussing the constraints first and the reason is very much simple because it will give us the idea what type of solution this problem is going to demand you can see n is like at most 1000 and k is like at most 1000 also so we can have a like o of n into k solution because the number of iteration is not going to exceed 10 power 6 right okay so moving further to discuss this problem for an integer array nums an inverse pair is a pair of integers i comma j where i and j satisfy this relation and the values at the corresponding indices i and j is also going to satisfy this relation given two integers n and k return the number of different arrays consist of numbers from 1 to n you can see the array is basically a permutation from numbers from 1 to n such that there are exactly k inverse pairs like a permutation of numbers from 1 to n will be the given array will be the array and you must ensure that the array consists of exactly k inverse pairs okay now the answer can be used return it modulo this prime number okay now there are a few examples i am going to discuss that also but in the more diverse way i will discuss the entire dp state you need not to worry about the dynamic programming and you need not to fear about the dynamic programming because it is actually very easy because once you uh, are acquainted with this question and the entire dp state you will feel comfortable to build up the solution right so let's move further to understand this problem in the best possible way and let's build up the dp state so let's move further okay so we will build a dp of size n plus 1 into k plus 1 okay that is the n is given to us and the k is given to us okay not talking about deep into this right now we will talk about what is the basic idea to uh, build up the solution like suppose we have n equal to 5 okay and uh, it is basically signifying that we will push the fifth element fifth is the maximum element right now into n minus 1 elements right if you're not going to understand this no need to worry about suppose we have first four natural numbers written over here and there are any permutation of these numbers it doesn't matter right now and we will try to push this fifth element fifth is the maximum element and i will call this a special element because whatever position i will push this fifth element like right, this one or this one or any of the positions the like a uh, very great Later fact or you can see the very astonishing fact is about that the number of elements that is the inversion count will always be increased by whatever the count of elements present over to the right of it like if you say that i will push the five to this position the inversion count will increase by two okay now here comes the main point i will try to push this five to all these positions like this one this one this one this one and this one okay and i will find out the total number of possible arrays okay okay so if i will try to push the 5 to this position inversion count will be decreased by k minus 0 okay and if i will try to push 5 okay so there is one more space 5 to this position inversion count will decrease by k minus 1 okay so if you focus on one thing i will build up a dp of size n into k so what does this basically signify that so we have first n natural numbers and uh, the nth number is the maximum element and we will try to push this nth element to all these five positions and let's say we are pushing this at this position inversion count k will be decreased by k minus 0 if i will push up to second position from the back side k minus 1 and i will all the i will add all the total number possible orientations of this one okay all the all the total of orientation of k minus 0 and k minus 1 okay so if you are not understanding this thing no need to worry about i will explain this in a little bit clearer way and what is that clearer way okay so let me expand this 
okay so if i will say dp of n into k is the is the total number of inversion count such that there are exactly n elements first n natural numbers and the inversion count of first n natural numbers is exactly k and we are trying to find out this dp of n k okay and uh, the reason or you can say the idea is like we will try to extract the information from the previous built in dp state and how we are going to extract this let's understand this okay i will try to push up this current like i will try to push up this nth element right now okay so let me change it i will try to push up this nth element right now to the first n minus 1 elements okay how we are going to do that okay okay so let me do this okay so i am going to like uh, i am trying to push up this nth element to like uh, n minus 1 uh, th there are already n minus 1 elements and i will try to push this nth element to all the n positions right so i will sum up the total number of arrays possible for dp of n minus 1 like because there are n minus 1 elements previously and if i will push up this nth element to the extreme right position then my inversion count will remain k like k minus 0 will remain k and if i will push up this uh, nth element nth element is the maximum element okay and the very uh, like good feature is like whenever i will push this nth element maximum element to the positions right from the back side the number of inversion count will be increased by number of element present to the right of it okay so no need to worry but i'm going to explain that also dp of n minus 1 if i will push up this uh, new element nth element right now to the second last position my inversion count like uh, my total number of arrays for the current state will be increased by like total number of arrays possible for n minus 1th state into k k minus 1 why i am going to do k minus 1 the reason is very simple because one inversion count is already been uh, contributed by current element right so i will find out the total number of inversion count uh, that were previously like that were previously present and it would be like dp of n minus 1 of k minus 1 right and it will goes on like uh, it will goes on like dp of n minus 1 of what you must have to notice one thing uh, you have to write down a general case k minus i i will say as k minus i okay just tell me one thing what is the maximum inversion count that we can get right okay one thing that should be noted here if i will try to push 5 at this position okay so let me do this if i will try to push 5 to this position okay the inversion count will be increased by this one we cannot push 5 to uh, left like one more left position you can see the maximum inversion count will be come out, coming out to be n minus 1 okay so this gives me the idea that we are going to do one thing where i is going to be less than or equal to min of uh, okay so let me write down k comma n minus 1 where i is going to vary up to this position okay so this is going to like basically thinking for this the dynamic programming okay how we can build up the dp state with the help of current element current element can be pushed can be put out for all these n positions and we will try to find out some of all the arrays possible for the current state with the help of previous state okay now i am going to discuss how we can build up this dp array and what are the logic how to optimize my code okay so let's move further okay so i'm talking about this one i have already built up okay so what i'm going to do is let's understand this with the help of certain like uh, let's discuss about a certain position like i'm talking about uh, this position like n is 4 and k can be from 0 to 6 right now okay now let's say that uh, okay so what i'm going to let's say i'm just finding it out dp of 4 of let's say k is like 3 okay so it means that i am uh, putting this fourth element uh, element value 4 to already three positions like uh, the now the new like now the new size is 4 and i will try to push the element value 4 to any of these positions like this position or this one okay or this one and any of this position if i will try to push this element at the extreme back side extreme right side my inversion count will be incremented by 0 so i will just increment my answer as dp of n minus 1 that is 3 into k minus 0 and it should be like uh, if k is 3 it should be like 
and again if k is like uh, 3 and i will push the element at the second last position my answer will be summed up with this value dp of 3 into 2 and how much this uh, sequence of terms will go out it will go out till this n minus 1 till this the beginning position you can see there are exactly n elements okay now the very very important thing that comes up okay uh, the one thing that I should recall about that you are going to sum up for n positions right starting from this current position Okay, so I will just say if you will try to fill up the DP of 4 and 3 that is here it is coming out to be 6 What okay, so let me first zoom it out Okay, that should be very much bigger. Okay, if I will try to fill up this uh, DP of 4 and 3 It is coming out to be 6 you are going to see that I will just summing up the last n uh, last n values like uh, previous n values and previous n values of n minus 1 to uh, n minus 1 through right so you can see 6 is coming from this one I will summing I am summing up for these values you can see there are 4 values 1 2 2 1 and it is coming out to be 6 I am summing up previous uh, previous n values of n minus 1 through okay it is coming out to be 6 and if you will try to fill up dp of 4 and 4 you can see I am summing up previous n values previous 4 values because I am dealing with a fourth row, you can see it is coming out to be five. And again, if you are dealing with this this position, you can see it is coming out to be three. You can see I am dealing with previous four values. It is coming out to be three. If you focus on any row, like uh, if you focus on fifth row, and if you say I how this answer fifteen is coming, you can see I am just summing up previous five values. But there are not five values. There are only four values. So you will sum up only the four values, right? So this is your answer for the current row and current column okay and if you talk about this 22 you will see i am summing up previous five values and it is coming out to be 22 i think it is correct 15 621 sorry 8 6 14 5 19 and 3 22 right okay so it is coming out to be 22 so this gives me the idea that i will just uh, iterate over the previous n minus 1 through and sum up the my uh, values for my current answer okay so but this is not efficient okay how why this is not efficient let me move over to one of my code and i will tell it out the complexity will be like o of n k square uh, you can see there are lot of uh, variations like accepted accepted i am just trying to modify my code to a better extent you can see what i have done is like uh, i will just initialize this base case and n is 1 up to starting from 1 up to n and k is varying from 0 to k like capital k is varying from 0 to small k and uh, my answer would be like a dp of nk would be sum up all these values we can see i am just iterating my i from 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 is the maximum inversion and it might be possible that k is capital k is going to be like less than n minus 1 so that i am taking this minimum and i will sum up all these values you can see the complexity is like o of nk square but this is not like efficient one how i can modify this one to o of n into k okay so let's move further to understand this in a little bit detail okay so i am just trying to modify my code let's say okay so let me first zoom it out so that it is it will be visible clearly to you okay so let me okay so i will just say dp of uh, dp of n let's say i am talking about a general case like 4 and uh, let's say i am talking about the sixth state okay so i am just trying to write down as dp of uh, what is my answer last n uh, last n values of n minus 1 through so I will write as dp of 3 of uh, okay so let me write down as fast as possible plus uh, dp of 3 and uh, it would be like fifth and plus uh, dp of uh, 3 of uh, 4 plus dp of 3 of 3 okay you can see there are four values last four values of n minus 1 through 6 5 4 3 are the column numbers okay so this is my answer for fourth row and sixth column okay so let's talk about the next column right and the row is still same i'm talking about the seventh column right so what is my answer let me copy it down and write down once again so that uh, i will save up some time for you guys okay so i will say it is as four and let me first change the not sorry 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 it should be like three and it is all going to be changed it is going to be like seven and again it is 6 and again it is 5 and okay and again it is 4 okay 
so this is going to be like very important how to optimize your dp state okay now i will just ask you to subtract this first equation from second equation okay so you will write down as uh, okay so the new equation that you will get is like dp of 4 of 7 must be equal to you can see dp of 4 and 6 will come to the right side because the left side will contain the minus 1 so it will contain like dp of 4 and 6 uh, note that i am subtracting uh, equation 1 from equation 2 okay so it will be summed up like uh, okay so this okay so this state this term will be cut down by this term and this term will be cut down by this term and this term again will be cut down by this term okay so my this term will remain so it will be like dp of 3 and 7 with minus sign of dp of 3 and 3 okay so this is the term that i have uh, that is remaining if you subtract it down okay so let me generalize this case okay how we are going to uh, generalize this case okay so this is dp of n and 7 is going to be like let's say it is k plus 1 okay so and what is this one dp of n and what is this k minus 1 not k minus 1 because i am taking k as 6 so it is only k and this is what dp of n minus 1 and this is what uh, okay so this is k plus 1 right and this is minus dp of uh, this is i am let me recheck it out i am thinking like i am doing some stupid mistake this is n equal to 4 4 and this is 3 right and k plus 1 k 7 and it is again k plus 1 yes it is correct i think and what about the values that uh, will be filled over here the values that will be filled over here is like n minus 1 and what is the state right now it is like k note that k is 6 so i am talking about k minus n plus 1 yes it is right okay so i if for talking about this current state no, not for the k plus 1 state i will just replace k with k minus 1 so you can see it will become k and it will become dp of n into k minus 1 plus dp of n minus 1 into this current state is k minus dp of n minus 1 into if you will replace k minus k with k minus 1 it will become k minus n so this is the current state okay so this will be our answer if i will try to figure it out for the nth row and kth column i will just uh, sum up these three values like these two values subtracted by uh, this one okay so this is my answer okay so let's look over the code right now because we have talked about very much and this is the code basically okay so you can see uh, what i have done is like uh, first i have filled up this base case and note that i have taken this modulus and what i have done is like iterate up to n equal to 1 and uh, it goes up to n equal to less than equal to small n and k1 up to this small k and note that dp of n k would be like n minus 1 k and n into k minus 1 you can see n minus 1 k n into k minus 1 okay and if k minus n is positive this is going to be like very much important because there might be possible that k minus n may be negative and fetching some negative index in the array subscript is like wrong so i will subtract this with the help of modulus okay finally return the answer let's submit this code and check it out if this is a valid solution or not yes it is good so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and do not forget to ask any of the queries because this question teaches us very much like concepts of dynamic programming and i will recommend that do not keep your doubts in your mind and try to ask down in the comment section of the video okay so uh, i will recommend to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video